Okay, let's solve this iterated integral here. So we have the integral going from 0 to 1 and inside going from 0 to s cubed and we have cosine s to the fourth dt ds. Let's go ahead and think about this inside integral first. So that's going to be the integral from 0 to s cubed cosine s to the fourth. Now you do not you do not need to uh, draw the region. You could draw the region if you wanted to, and you don't, but you don't have to. It is not required for this problem. Um, and in, in general, you know, unless your teacher or professor asks you to draw it, then you can draw it. But you don't have to draw it if you're if you're not required, because it's not it's not required in this problem. So the integration here is easy because we're we're doing it with respect to t, and we don't have any t's, so just add a t. So it's cosine s to the fourth times t. And then going from 0 to s, s cubed. So pl plugging this in for t, we end up on both of these. So we end up getting cosine s to the fourth times s cubed minus cosine s to the fourth times 0. This is gone. So it's just, um, it's just cosine s to the fourth times s cubed which is the information that is in green that we're going to go substitute back in here so let's do that so we all end up getting integral from 0 to 1 cosine this is an easier integral and that's I think the problem is set up such that it becomes this way we have a lot of real estate here we don't, we don't we're not going to use it but it's good to have um, so let's continue we can use u, u substitution for this one you don't need to write it out if you it, it depends I mean I, I would write it out to show my work and it helps me so if you use s to the fourth du over ds is 4s to the third power which means that du if you multiply this ds on both sides you will end up with du is 4s cubed ds this is important as we can now go ahead and rewrite this integral as the integral from 0 to 1, still 0 to 1, even if we plug it in for u, cosine u times du, but this is not complete because we have to insert a 1 fourth. Since we multiply the 4 to get this 4s cubed ds, right, this information out, um, we have to uh, multiply by one fourth, which is what we're doing here. Okay, that's why. So it's one fourth. This is going to be one fourth times the integral of cosine is sine, just sine, going from zero to one. Okay, so that's going to be one fourth sine of one minus sine of zero. Sine of one is not a nice number, but we know from our from our unit circles, um, we know that we we can draw our unit circle, and and this is obviously not necessary if you know if you know your simple sines and cosines. But if we draw our unit circle, then if you this is zero degrees, um, zero radians here, just zero, um, and the angle is zero, so. Essentially, we, we would we would have the y value of zero, and so that's why it's it's just zero. So this all this is all just zero, and so this ends up being sine of one, some weird number over four. Uh, when I say weird number, it's not easily expressible uh, in a different form. So it's sine of one over four, which ends up becoming your answer. This is the volume, weirdly uh, enough, of the surface or under the surface over the region um, with our surface being the cosine s to the fourth and so we are done